Video Friday with Art Resin. Hey guys, it's Video Friday and today I'm joined by someone very special with something very special. So you remember Tracy? We would be lost without her here at Art Resin. False! <laughs> so Tracy, do you want to explain what this is? Yes, so the Zacks are away on a family vacation and so we made them this plaque on their waist as a welcome home. So we're going to resin it. So we've had this old piece of barn board um, and we stenciled and painted on their names and some little deer uh, and we're going to resin it. But, but I wanted to point out a couple of things that are really, it's really important to know, especially if you're going to have a piece of wood, resined wood, and you're getting, going to keep it outside. So first of all, you want to make sure you resin the entire thing, that it's totally um, sealed and that'll make it weather resistant. Because if you leave a patch or you leave the back unresined, then moisture can, um, can get in and then with temperature fluctuations, you might have expansion and contraction and your resin actually might end up cracking as the wood changes. So it's important to resin the entire thing. Um, and then you also wanna seal it. So we've sealed it here for two reasons. One, wood contains um, air, which off gases in the form of bubbles. So sealing it first will really, really will help minimize bubbles. Smile, Tracy. <laughs> and secondly, um, it will help to preserve the, col the color as well, because barn board has sort of a natural patina. Uh, sometimes resin can darken uh, fabric and other natural objects like wood. So putting a, a sealant on first will help to preserve the color of the barn board. Now, when we resined, we resined the back first, and here's why. Um, you want to resin the back. The back doesn't really matter. Again, you want to make sure you resin it to keep it weather resistant, but it doesn't really matter what the, the back is going to look like. So we resin the back first so that when we resin the front, that is our final, final coat. Uh, I've made the mistake before of resining the front of my work first, and then I flip it over to resin the back, and then I've ended up scratching it and indenting it. So this way, if we resin the back first, that's all taken care of, and then we resin the front, and then it's all done and good to go. So I'll show you here. When I did resin the back, I just domed it. You see, I didn't let it run down the sides. I didn't want to even risk the chance of any drips to have to deal with on the front, so I just domed it. Okay, so now when we resin the front, we've taped off the bottom, and we're gonna resin the sides and the top, and then any drips can catch on the tape here, and we can rip them right off. So that's it, it's gonna look gorgeous when we're done, right? Absolutely. And Dave and Rebecca, if you see, if you see this video before you get home, <laughs> guess what, you got a surprise at home waiting for you. <laughs> Until next week, Video Friday with Art Resin. Ah, uh, thank God that's over.